what do you count as gain? What have you counted for gain in your in your life before today? Even maybe before the Lord. Maybe like me, you have amazing good looks and you've been able to live on those and get by on stuff because of your amazing good looks or your manly features. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what has been you've considered gain. Maybe your brain has been your gain. Maybe your money has been your gain. The things that you counted in the plus column, these are the things that are, that are good that I have, and I'll put them to good use, but these are the things that are good to me. And that's what Paul is saying right now, the things that I counted for gain, which was his following of the law, his zeal in following the law, his heritage in Israel. All those things, those were the things that were gain, but I now count them as loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ. That's a, that's a huge statement. That's not just saying, I'm going to use the good things that I have. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count my good looks and my buff physique that I have that you all are jealous of. And I'm going to put them to good use. That's not what Paul is saying. Paul is saying, I count these things as loss. Now, why would he put it that way? You know what? I, I didn't choose to be so handsome. I didn't choose to be so buff. It was just the way God created me. Why are you laughing? My own son is laughing. I can use those for good. Paul takes it to a radical place, and it's the radical place he calls us to take it. You know what? It's possible to use all those things that you have and that you are for good. But count them in the loss column. They are a debit, not a credit. Because all of those things can lead you away from the Lord. You can begin to depend upon them instead of the Lord. Pastor Chuck used to say something that I heard him say it several times over the years that he would uh, come to the pastor's conferences. He would say, our weaknesses are not the biggest danger to our relationship with the Lord. Our strengths are. And that is absolutely true because in those things that we are well equipped, in those things that we count as gain, in those things that I've got this, I have a natural ability for this, I understand, I've studied this, I, I know this, we depend upon ourselves instead of the Lord. But Paul does it differently. He's found that truth to be able to say, all, all the things that I used to count as gain, I put them in the loss column. He's not saying, I'm throwing it away. I'm never going to use it. It's sinful to do this. I'm not saying that I'm going to stop being so glad of my great looks and manly physique. <laughs> now even I'm laughing, I can't, I can't keep it going. Sorry. But I've made my point, right? I'm not going, I'm not going to throw those things away, but I'm not going to depend upon them because they are the potential for a fall, for me to get farther away from the Lord because I'm depending upon myself. Hey, it's my God-given thing I'm depending on. Yeah, but you're depending on that thing instead of the Lord. The Lord created you in Christ Jesus for good works. And he created you to be exactly who you are, to have the physique and the, the, the look and the brains and the capabilities and the opportunities that you have. 
So he created all those things to be part of the mix. But we have to take our eyes from looking at those things and look up and look to him.